You've got more training to do. Those goals won't defend themselves. Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Chasers can play a decent defense, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keeper to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Oi, don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Now, let's watch the effect that has on your chasers. Keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. That's about all you need to know as a keeper. Are you ready to play a match with proper defence? Brilliant. With the keepers added to the game, things are about to get a lot more interesting. This is the Weasley Twins. Excited is back for another exhilarating game of Quidditch. We can hardly sit still. Here comes the bludgers! She spots her chance to score! What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. She spots a chance! The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat! Yes! Keep moving it downfield. There's the shot! This change to make scoring goals look easy.
The chase surpasses. Who will be the first to find the snitch? Yes, keep moving it downfield. She makes a pass. She goes toward the shot. shot. Final whistle, or Mom's found the flubber worm in the toilet. That was a thrilling match. That was a great match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move to the next lesson? Or are you itching for a rematch? Brilliant. Let's move on to the roles that make Quidditch truly unique. Starting with the beater. Better find someone fearless for the job. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that George? Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you'll need the beater's best friend, a bat. As a beater, your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts with a bludger.
drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters can do the same, often to devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about her. They volunteered for this. Well, they were told to do this, but I'm sure they'll be okay. Let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still off balance. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little spectacular. Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. Now that you understand what a beater does, are you ready to see them in action? Then let's play a match with bludgers and beaters in the mix. Watch, Watch your head, head out there. there. This is Ginny Weasley, co-commentator for this match. The Quaffle's up. No one's hopping the quaffle on this team. She takes the shot. She scores! She stole the quaffle! The chaser pack has a player down. She takes a chance, but Chaser the scores! Either that's the final whistle, or Mom's found the flubber worm in the toilet. Blimey, look at the time! Get out quick, or the next thing the Burrow host won't be a rematch. It'll be our funeral.